The princess. That princess is just this huge, enormous, tremendous, bulging game of content and fun. I think people are going to be really surprised at how big a game Fat Princess really is. The premise of Fat Princess is really quite simple. It's essentially capture the flag, but the flag is a princess. So that's a concept that everybody, whether you're a casual gamer or a hardcore gamer, can immediately get and understand. We refer to Fat Princess as a tactical team action game. It has class-based strategy, resource collection for upgrades, fast, bloody combat. The enemy team have your princess, you have theirs, and you have to get the princess back. It sounds simple, but with all the different classes and the upgrades and the mayhem, it's all up to you and your team strategy of how you're going to achieve that. We always wanted to create a castle siege game, and with that in mind, we created some concept art which really inspired the whole design. And from that, we took the hat machines and the classes and all of the cool action you see now. The concept for Fat Princess came about when we met with the development team back at GDC 2006. We sat down, and they presented us with a lot of different concepts for the PlayStation Network. For some reason, we just latched on to this one concept with the Fat Princess in it. One mechanic they loved was feeding the princess, and they just kept referring to the game as that Fat Princess game. And I always thought, well, you know, the name will change later, but it never did, and we love it, and it's one of the unique things about the game. Fat Princess! Personally, one of my favorite aspects of Fat Princess is the art style, really. It's, it's incredibly charming. It's unlike anything we've ever seen. And you know when you see an image anywhere of the game, you know that that's Fat Princess. And there's so few games, I think, that you can immediately identify that game as, as being so iconic just in its image and its visual style. One of the unique elements we love about Fat Princess is the juxtaposition between the colorful, fun art style and the blood and gore. You're running through a level and there's a little bridge and flowers, and then all of a sudden you come across some feet and hands and blood, and well, there's been a battle and it's really awesome. But of course, you can always choose to turn the blood and the gore off if you wish. You know, we're parent-friendly, too. One thing people might not realize with a PSN title is uh, the level of depth that we have on this title. Titan wanted to make sure that everything was done right, and this went to e extreme levels on design, layout, every day, even including the VO actors. The day is ours! And as soon as all of those layers came into play, it made it such a more robust and rich experience in the gameplay. It's, it's really quite stunning. There's lots of different environments in Fat Princess. We have mountain environments, forest environments, volcano environments, and island environments. And they're all designed to give the team different strategies and ways to complete their objective. The enemy castle has been breached! So we're really trying to mix it up and create environments that are large and small, and that changes the strategy a little bit. Each of the maps, actually, that you will encounter in multiplayer, completely symmetrical. No team has one advantage over the other, so it's entirely up to the player and how well they work together as a team, gathering resources and having a strong mix of the different classes going into battle that will determine who wins the game. The princess has been rescued! <laughs> Thank you.